FTX's upcoming sell-offs threatened to add downward pressure to SOL, uh, despite the not-so-exciting price trajectory of Solana's native token, SOL's ecosystem has reverberated with a flurry of positive developments lately. Amidst the relative calmness of the bear market, the proof-of-stake network concentrated on building high-profile partnerships, thus boosting its development activity and making the chain an attractive hub of decentralized finance protocols. Uh, popular on-chain researcher Emperor Osmo drew attention to some of the ecosystem's important advancements uh, in recent months and how they position Solana for long-term market value expansion. Uh, um, arguably, the, the most significant among them was the partnership with payment. Uh, Giant Visa, uh, the partnership um, involved the extension of its stablecoin settlement capabilities to the Solana chain. Uh, the Solana community uh, widely applauded the announcement. Uh, this is because a major TradFi player uh, considered the, the network for payments for the first time. Uh, and, and while Visa was already using Ethereum for its pilot project, uh, the decision to add support for Solana was motivated by the high transaction throughput and low costs. Visa acknowledged Solana's strategic advantages while announcing uh, the partnership. The Solana blockchain sees 400 millisecond block times, averages 400 transactions per second, and typically surges to more than 2K TPS1 across a variety of use cases during periods of peak demand. And the admission was a testament to Solana's long-held narrative of a high-performance blockchain. And so because of its high transaction speeds, it has been frequently projected as the Ethereum killer. In fact, a comparative data analysis by Artemis revealed that Solana was miles ahead of its competitors in facilitating on-chain transactions. And with Visa's partnership, uh, the numbers were expected uh, to rise even further. Uh, apart from Visa's partnership, the Solana ecosystem was also the leading stablecoin issuing protocol MakerDAO's preferred network. Earlier in the month, Maker's co-founder Arun Christensen proposed to build the protocol's upcoming standalone blockchain by forking Solana's code base. Uh, praising Solana's technical capabilities, Christensen stated that the POS network would remain the best fit to address maker-specific needs. Uh, he also attributed the strong developer ecosystem as a confusion major reason behind choosing Solana. Uh, this means that it has significant windy effect and is likely to stick around long term and means that the cost for development and maintenance will be much lower um, and that there will always be a high quality pool of talent available for maker to access and contribute to. And so, uh, the importance of high development activity and luring investors has been repeated ad nauseum. However, uh, the above scenario served as another great reminder, uh, specifically referring to the FTX fiasco, Christensen heaped praise uh, on the way the ecosystem weathered the headwinds that it encountered on its way to building its developer base. Uh, his assertions were corroborated by data from Token Terminal um, and it was revealed that Solana's developer count remained intact from what it was a year at the beginning of 2023. Uh, uh, Emperor Asmo also emphasized Solana's uh, significant uh, progress in improving its DeFi credentials. Maple Finance, uh, one of the leading players in the real-world assets industry, was returning to Solana months after leaving the blockchain network in the aftermath of FTX's downfall. Uh, Given Maple's earlier contributions to Solana's liquidity, uh, the, the return was believed uh, to be a win-win situation for both sides. Uh, apart from RWA, uh, ample opportunities also lie uh, in the largely untapped liquid staking token sector. While Solana boasted of one of the largest staking market caps, just about 5% of the supply was available as LSTs. Uh, um, the emerging liquid staking protocol, uh, GITO, was trying to capture a chunk of its market and recorded a sharp increase in stake SOL since July. And overall, Solana has come a long way since the cascading effect of FTX's collapse. Its total value locked has won and doubled on a year-to-date basis to nearly $790 a million dollars at press time. 
her defilement. Uh, it was evident that the Solana community had a lot to root for. Um, you know, having said that, there were mounting concerns over FTX's upcoming liquidation plan, which could flood the market with additional SOL tokens. In fact, uh, jittery holders started to dump their holdings, fearing a big crash in the days to come. The token plunged 9.4% over the past week to its press time value of $17.68.